handed me his Purple Heart. Reason 8,562,000 why I can't stand Donald Trump. When I was on the road feeding and clothing homeless veterans, there was one homeless veteran at Pismo Beach, California. I stayed up with him until the sun rose because he kept on trying to sell me his Purple Heart to buy what he said would be his last meal because he said it didn't matter if he died here. It only mattered if he died over there. And it broke my heart. I did everything I could to ingrain in his mind how much he mattered and how much he gave for this country. If anyone offers you their Purple Heart, you refuse it because they earned it. What's up, everybody? Major Retired with Tuttle Jet here, and I 100% echo this message, and I hope everyone with their MAGA blinders on lets this sink into their brains as well, because this is also fresh off the vote that killed a bill designed to help veterans who've been exposed to toxic burn pits. And guess who voted it down? Yep, the Republicans. Senate Republicans are blocking health care benefits for veterans who had been exposed to toxins and burn pits. More than 3 million veterans would benefit from the bill, but Republican Senator Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania is objecting to the spending after technical changes were made by the House. Once again, the Republican Party betrayed our veterans. They don't give a damn about us once we come home. When we enlist, they promise us the world. When we are serving on active duty, they will do whatever it takes to get us back on the battlefield, especially for guys like me who served on active duty in combat zones for years. Okay, joining us now is 9-11 first responder John Field, who has been fighting to get this bill passed for years and years. America needs to know that the uh, United States Senate, the GOP, stabbed veterans in the back this morning. And um, Pat Toomey took orders from Mitch McConnell and um, thousands, if not millions of veterans are now going to pay the price. And many of them are going to die waiting. And um, I'm trying not to uh, show emotions today, Andrea, but, and if you want to bleep me, that's fine, but you, Pat Toomey, because you have literally have blood on your hands. I love my country, make no mistake about it, but I question how much it loves me when things like today take place. To sum it up, I'm furious. In the last five years alone, I have had over 30 cysts removed from my body. Luckily, they've all been benign, but each procedure hurts like hell, and they keep multiplying, and no one can tell me why. I've been coming down here a long time, and I'm used to the lies, and I'm used to the deception, and I'm used to the cowardice, and I'm used to the hypocrisy. But what I am not used to is the casual cruelty. Every minute of delay is a minute that a veteran who fought for this country and their families and their caregivers suffer and die. We've lost people through this fight. I have been exposed to depleted uranium and breathed in human flesh. I've been around burn pits, been around explosions, and have had my fair share of broken bones and surgeries. And I'm not alone. My brothers and sisters in arms have also gone through the same things. And we have not even talked about the emotional trauma that makes it hard to sleep without meds. I'm 52 years old. I take close to 20 pills every day. And again, I'm not alone. This is what serving your country means. We don't get to watch our children grow up. We put our lives in harm's way. Our families suffer. And when we come home, we get stabbed in the back over and over again. The anger I have now can't even be put into words. The texts that I am receiving from my fellow veterans are equally as angry. We're fed up. And I promise as veterans, we will not stop fighting for our country. And for those that stabbed us in the back, we will never forget your names. The 42 Republican senators that voted no today on the PACT Act, we are coming for you. Your phones will no longer stop ringing. Your offices will have veterans waiting for you every day. Come election time, get ready for veterans to show up at your meet and greets so you will have to look us in the eye and tell us why we don't deserve our VA benefits fits to be expanded. I don't share this publicly too often, but as veterans, we have conversation amongst ourselves all the time. And in the back of our heads, we wonder sometimes if the VA would rather just have us dead so they don't have to deal with us anymore. For major procedures, many of us don't go to the VA hospitals because we don't trust them. They're, uh, they're completely overworked and understaffed. And 42 Republican senators today said that they want to keep it that way. It doesn't have to be this way, and this is why I'm a Democrat. Did you notice that not a single Democrat voted against this bill? I sure as hell did, and I guarantee you my fellow veterans did as well, including the ones that are Republicans or independents or the ones that don't care about politics.
It's so easy to just look at the voting record. Look at what Republicans have denied us over the course of years. I get so sick of having to argue with people who support Republicans in the false belief that they support veterans. The evidence, the absolute proof is right there time and time again. These jackaloons love war because war is good for business, but they hate veterans because they'd rather give themselves tax breaks and have us paying all their bills, doing all their work, defend this country and die with no insurance, no benefits, no health care, and no thanks whatsoever, all so they can sit comfortable in a penthouse office dictating laws that serve only themselves. It's time we show them that their seats are not safe. Let's send every single GOP member that voted against this bill backing, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.